Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my flipping series where I'm trying to earn the most expensive gear set in the entire game. Now, today I'm going to be documenting a investment I made on this account and show you exactly my thought process behind the items that I picked, when I bought them, when I sell them, and ultimately if I ended up making money or losing a ton of money on this investment. Now, I really have to apologize for how long it took me to get another episode of my flipping series out. I know it's been months and I'm going to address why it took so long and uh, what you can expect from the future of this series somewhere near the end of the video. Don't worry though, I'm still very excited about this series and we are making progress even if I haven't uploaded too much recently. So anyway, I'm really hyped to show you this episode. If you are too, always appreciate a like on the video. It helps with a ton. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Now I last left you in July and sometime around then I kind of came to realize that I wanted to change our flipping and merching strategy going forward because it kind of felt like we're on a somewhat of a linear path. Every week we're making money but it just wasn't going up very quickly. And so I knew eventually I was going to need to experiment with longer term flips and really go outside of my comfort zone and learn new ways to make money in the game and that is obviously going to take some time and there are going to be some mistakes which I'm going to cover again today but for the sake of this video I'm going to start off in the middle of September when I made an investment. So I knew I wanted to make a long term investment and put a significant amount of my money into it but it was kind of hard to know what to put the money in obviously that is the golden question. There are technically a lot of upcoming updates but when are we going to get them? That's the real question. We have Raids 3, the Tombs of a Masket. We have the next update. Uh, we have Wilderness Changes. We should have the Wilderness Boss rework. There's just a lot that is supposed to be coming, but the release cadence has been so slow lately that it's hard to say whether or not we're going to get any of these in 2021. Uh, so of these three major updates, I was mainly toying between the Wilderness update and next. And that's mainly because we know the Tombs of a Masket isn't coming this year, so that could be six, seven months out still. And between those two, I decided to go with the Wilderness update for one reason, mainly because the changes for it are very well known and exact. So having read through the entire Wilderness blog that came out on July 1st, there's a few good candidates here. Uh, first could be the Din's Bulwark. Another good option could be the Wilderness Weapon, so either the Crossbow, the Thamron Scepter or the Vigor's Chain Mace. And finally here we have the Amulet of Avarice. Now personally I think the Amulet of Avarice has the most upside potential out of all of them. Currently as of today, September 12th, uh, it's worth around 450k. Which means I could fairly easily buy hundreds of them and not even invest my entire cash stack. Uh, so the Amulet of Avarice is getting affected by two changes really. First up, Revenant Caves are going to be getting buffed. Their loot is going to be increased by 50%. There's going to be more Revenant spawns and they're going to respawn quicker. With this update, they're also going to make a lot of the drops unnoted, which means it's going to be a lot more annoying to pick everything up. That said, if you do have an Amulet of Avarice, everything in the Revenant Cave is noted. So the Amulet will get a bit of a buff there. And on top of that, the Amulet of Avarice is going to gain an additional 20% accuracy and damage towards Revenants, which means that's going to put it on par with the Salve Amulet, overall making the Amulet of Avarice a lot more desirable and appealing to use. So I think it's a fairly safe bet that when this update comes around, or at least when the update is mentioned, the Amulet of Avarice will go up in price. The main risk is when. How long is it going to take for Jagex to get around to doing this update? They said it was going to happen in 2021, which means it should happen in the next month or two, but that could easily be pushed back and then all of a sudden we're sitting on an item for half a year, which is too long. So with that said, let's go ahead and start off by buying 200 Amulets of Avarice and I'm going to try buying them for 475k each, somewhere around there. So the Amulets do have a fairly low buy limit of only 8, which means this offer will take probably around a week to come through because at best we're going to buy maybe like 25 of them a day. So we'll start with the offer here, see how consistent it is. If not, we'll change it slightly. Uh, so today is October 14th and you can see in the corner there a little sneak peek of uh, something I was working on. Uh, we have a third age axe sale coming through, but let's ignore that for now. Uh, so it took around 5 days for this offer to complete and I had to bump up the price a bit to 531k per amulet because they just weren't coming through. Now that said we ended up buying them for around 500k each, not too much more than I was hoping to pay. 
Uh, so because that offer went through fairly smoothly, I think I'm going to do another 200 amulets. They do take a long time to go through, but because their limit is so low, even if you have under market price, sometimes you'll just get some because other players hit their limit and then a couple squeak through to use. Uh, so this time, let's be a little more patient. We're going to put in our original offer again for another 200 amulets and let's see how long this takes. So there we go, another 200 Amulets of Avarice have been purchased. Uh, it only took around a week to come through, uh, but we're checking in almost a full two weeks later on October 26th because something really exciting has happened. Tomorrow is update day and I just went ahead and looked on Twitter to something absolutely beautiful. Get ready for tomorrow's game update as you bring improvements to the Revenant Caves, double the number of Revenants with faster respawn raids, changes to their healing mechanics, and rebalanced drop tables. So they don't explicitly mention the Amulet of Avarice, but we can assume that it's probably changing tomorrow. Having a quick look on GE Tracker, we can see the prices already started to go up. It actually took a few hours before I think anyone noticed. They're only up around 50k so far, but I'm excited for tomorrow because uh, we're going to have to make some decisions and, well, we're going to have to see how strong the Amulet of Avarice is. So I will see you guys tomorrow with the game update and yeah, let's see what happens. All right, guys, so today is the big day and we woke up and things are looking good, but also a bit confusing. Let's first have a quick look at the price of the amulet. Well, overnight, it did go up a significant amount, um, which in the end of the day is what I had hoped. It's already up to 750k each, which means currently we will make around 250k per amulet of avarice, which is a lot. Now, there are two things that are really muddying this thing up a bit. First, they forgot the actual change to the Amulet of Avarice. The Amulet of Avarice has not changed. It was supposed to get an additional 20% accuracy and damage today, but it was overlooked and is going to be coming in the next game update. So yeah, the Amulet hasn't changed. That said, the Rev Caves have, uh, which means even though the Amulet doesn't get extra damage or accuracy, it's still a lot more useful than it was before because everything is pretty well unnoted now. Uh, so for now, I'm going to hold the items and think about it. I think I'll have at least until next week now because the hype surrounding the item is probably going to continue forward because they didn't actually update it fully. I really doubt it will drop significantly before the next game update because there are still some further changes. So let's wait one more day and uh, see what happens tomorrow. I am really glad we waited. Today is October 28th and the Amulet of Avarice has gone up more. We're up to 900k per amulet now, which means we've effectively nearly doubled our profit. So the hardest part by far with investing is knowing when to sell. I still think we're going to be safe to hold these items until next week, right before the game update. And it's really hard to bring myself to sell items that are actively going up. Uh, maybe let's wait one more day. So it's a bit later on October 28th, and I've been thinking a lot about the Amulet of Avarice and monitoring how good it appears to be in the Revenant Cave. So there's a few factors I want to break down. First up, the Amulet of Avarice doesn't really seem required. It does help by noting items, but all that really does is potentially extend your trip. It's not by any means required because you can bring a looting bag, and it's actually very quick to get back to the Revenant Cave. Another change they made is Revenant Cave teleports are a lot more common. I don't know why they did that, but Revenant Cave teleports way cheaper now. Two or 3,000 GP each, where previously they're about 20k each. Uh, so getting back to the cave is really easy, which means you can just fill up your inventory and looting bag with unnoted things, teleport back to a bank, and then immediately go back to the Revenant Cave without that much downtime. And honestly, banking frequently is a good idea because you're in the wilderness. So that's already one negative, I think, against the Amulet of Avarice right now. And another big factor is the Salve Amulet does exist, and it is as good as the Amulet of Avarice without having to spend one mil. Sure, you don't get noted items, but your risk is lower, and you don't have to be sculled either. And one other issue is that the Amulet of Avarice is also noting food drops, which normally would be unnoted. Those food drops are meant to extend your trip, but you can't if they're noted, so that's another bit of a negative. So because of those reasons, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and sell my investment sooner rather than later, and most definitely before next Wednesday. 
In the end though, I could be wrong about this and it is possible the amulets are more useful than I take them for and they could double in price again. But overall, I'm happier taking a somewhat more conservative route, making sure I do get profit from this instead of just wasting all this time, and then we can just move on to something else. It is always way safer to sell the hype instead of waiting until the dust settles to truly see how strong and desirable your investment is. Okay, so I think our exit price is going to be around 900k. It's been fluctuating up and down around this price point. We do have to sell 400 amulets, which could take a while. So because although it still is only Thursday, I'm going to be gone for a couple days and I kind of want to just get this sold instead of worrying about it all weekend. So we're going to check all 400 in for 900k and hope for the best. Okay, so it's the next morning and we managed to sell off around a fifth of them. So yeah, this is going to be a slow process. That said, we are continuing to get fairly steady sales, which means until they absolutely stop, I'm not going to change the price. So there we go. It took a full three days to sell off this investment. So I'm glad we got to that early. So we managed to sell off the majority of them at the 900k price point. However, the price was dropping to under 800. So I thought I would drop the price a bit as well, just to get these sold in case the price totally tanked. Uh, so essentially, I sold 220 of them roughly at 900k, and the remaining 180 at around 850k. So here is our trade history. It looks pretty nice, but how much money did we end up making? Uh, so in the end, we ended up buying these for an average of around 480k each, and selling them for an average of around 880k each, so roughly a 400k profit per amulet, nearly doubling our initial investment. Not quite, but pretty close. Uh, so in the end from this investment, I ended up making 156 mil, uh, which I am pretty happy with. So today is November 3rd, a few days after I sold off my investment. Uh, so today is really where I find out whether I made a good decision or a bad decision. And overall, I think I made a good decision. Uh, now that's not to say I sold my investment at the perfect time because I definitely didn't. Leading up to the update on Wednesday, the price actually shot up to a peak of 1300 each and also stayed at 1.1 mil for quite a while. So I could have probably sold my investment then and made probably another 100 mil in profit. That said, that would have been way more risky because we can see pretty much right after the update dropped, so did the price. It would have been really hard to time it perfectly, so I'm pretty happy with my decision. So that's pretty much it for my recent investment. Now let's talk about the series as a whole, because it's been over three months since the last episode. Now I never intended for there to be such a big break between episodes, but I knew eventually we had to slow things down. I'd been releasing the episode pretty much every week uh, since I started the series, and that's because I had a huge backlog of clips, however we burnt through those pretty quickly. But probably a larger factor than that is, personally I just wanted to evolve how we made money with this series. Flipping every day can be fun, but it also can be quite a grind and repetitive, and to keep things interesting, I personally think doing more investments uh, or long term flips is going to be more interesting, at least for me, which I hope will make it more interesting for you as well. Also because in the end we need to earn billions and billions of GP. In the end, to get there, we're gonna have to take some risks and probably do investing anyway, so I thought it was a good time to switch over. That said, didn't intend for it to be such a big break, but naturally it will take longer. I'm aiming to get an episode out once a month, uh, so I'm not sure the exact date of when the next episode is, but we're gonna be making another investment starting this week. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I feel like that's not fair. I, I probably just end up pumping it up artificially by accident. Uh, you also may have noticed that I was around 40 mil higher than when I last checked in back in July. That was actually significantly more than that, except for one big mistake, which I thought I would highlight here. So I was trying my hand at another long-term flip, the Third Age Axe, and it went kind of wrong. I did originally have a few successful flips with it, but unfortunately our last one, not so good. We ended up losing, I think, 50 mil on it. So that's where that money came from and went, I guess. So anyway, that was a bit of a ramble, but I think that's all I wanted to cover. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time with hopefully another investment. 
Now, before I go here, guys, I want to give a giant thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thank you so much to Sejuani's Flail, The Hybrid, Ocelot, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed at the Dragon tier. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much, as always. Also, another giant shout out to Mexos, Bastage, MDM001, and YoYo Sub89 for being subscribed at the Renite tier. Thanks a lot, guys. As always, if you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. Get immortalized in all of my future videos, get a custom role in my Discord server, and get access to my video release schedule. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.